Nice. We should be live. Right about now. Oh, wait. I didn't switch my screens. This is awkward. I cannot see my screen. That's... That's not practical. Hold on. Okay. Let me do some switcheroo. Some switching around. Of the screens. Can you switch, please? Thank you. Okay. So. Here's the plan. Assuming I have any. Um, is server maintenance is in like freaking one hour, and I have some VOD review which I have slept on and not did. And um, that means that if we don't do it now, we're never gonna do it. Uh, so hopefully the person that is uh, supposed to, that I'm supposed to do the VOD review of is gonna tune in. Uh, I'm gonna ping them on Discord. Oh, hee hee haw! Hello, hee hee haw! You're you're here. That was fast. You're fast. It's like I start streaming for like a random time, and people just like they come in. They're like, oh, hello, it's Ochris. It's cool. Thank you for coming in. That's nice. Um, so yeah, uh, as you heard that I said, we need to do some VOD review. Um, if the person turns in. If not, I will... Oh, people are sending messages. I hate interrupting messages. Uh, at I'm in voice chat. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm in voice chat and I'm gonna be in the voice chat. Uh, I will go to... Which one will I go to? I will go to Focus Fishing 2. And that way... Am I... Am I in? in that, yeah, it works. Okay. Uh, I will ping now. I will ping Mr. N. Okay person has been pinged now we can uh, go and do a match while we wait and that way we can do the match with the h3 nuzzle nose and suffer <laughs> Ooh, hello hello tree that is funny. so I kind of like trained to get the perfect shot on moving targets um, not too consistent, but I, 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 I can do it. It's kind of like, the shots are slow, so you, you kind of need to aim forward from the opponent you're trying to hit. It's kind of weird. Wait, is the H3 the one with the, uh, the range, or the one yeah, with it's, the Yeah, it's just the one. A H, H like high, and L like low, basically. It's like, oh. L3 is the faster one, and H3 is the big one. Whoa, 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 it reaches? I, I didn't know that. Oh well. Thought it would drop down. It told me it would drop down. The UI lied to me. Um. So currently the gear I'm running is, uh. It's a full on ink recovery up. Uh, mainly I use that for the L3 because it's supposed to have great pain power and. If you multiply that by being able to always have ink because you can refill it very fast, then you can basically paint a lot for days and over your opponents. Ow. Uh, but then I switched to the H3 and I was like, okay, let me keep the same thing. And I guess I guess the cool thing about this gear is that, well, it refills your ink very fast, so that's the first part. But the second part is that it's, uh, it's a fire person had like the fire people that save people from fire I don't know what that's called I forgot the name but it's, it's the fire people and I'm using weapons that are hoses so you guess a fire person hat that controls ink very fast so that you always have ink to throw from a nozzle hmm that sounds like a firefighter 
<laughs> so yes, I think I think it's good. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm probably not supposed to be in their base. That's probably not the most useful thing I could do. Ow! I nearly died there because I'm dumb. Like I got an easy shot and I still can't manage to kill them. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, I got them. Can I get that guy? Nope. Oh, I should probably use my special too. Kind of forgot how to play. Ooh, got that guy. Mm, too close. Oh, I got them. Let's go. Couldn't you use touch pools for like defense as well? Like if you put on the tower and like you can't destroy it, so you can use it. Well, yeah, right? but then it's also harder to for me to aim, and it's not it's not that consistent at like protecting, right? Because it's. I mean, it's, it's not the best. Obviously, if you really want protection, you want a wall. It, it could do some slight protection, but it's more annoying than anything else. Because, like, see, a wall you can go through. Same thing with the with the big bubbler. Uh, that thing is more of an annoyance for, like, both of you, like, uh, opponent and yourself. Um, yeah. So it's not as useful. The, the main reason, honestly, for the tactic cooler is... Um... So honestly, I think the kits in this game in this game are pretty well made. I feel like most people like have some gripes with some of them. They they complain that oh why why did they put this on on this kit? Like it, it doesn't make sense. I would have wished for a bomb because everybody wants bombs on every single weapon because bombs do everything. But I, like I don't I don't know like this kit. I think it's pretty fine because if you think about the H three. It's pretty good, it's got good range, it's got good paying power. The main gimmick is that it's very hard to play with it because it's it's a burst fire and you need to be like perfect accuracy with it. And yeah, it's pretty hard. So what do you got? You got a sub that marks your opponents. What does that do? That makes it easy to locate them to hit your your direct three shot, right? Um, and what do you get? You get the tactical and what does the tactical do? It allows you to move faster and swim faster and take, be less annoyed by enemy ink and super jump faster in case you get in trouble. Basically, it makes it makes you be able to fight more sloppily without like being, uh, without pay paying as much for doing it. Basically, the weapon is hard to play and makes you play easier it makes stuff less hard so that you can focus on the hardness of the weapon and push in a little bit more and then if you die that's fine because you can respawn faster and if you're smart you can super jump and you're safe so that's good oh yeah, uh, so is this like a main now or, or is the dapple doing okay so the dapple doing i haven't played them in like freaking a month and a half or more i don't know um, it's basically, you know, I switch my focus from one weapon that people don't like to the next one. Depends on, on what people are complaining about in the moment, right? Currently, um, I don't know, because cause I, I really like, you know, th th there's too much hate for, like, weapons. People are like, oh, this weapon is trash, and I want to give the love that the weapons deserve. I want to give the love to the weapons that don't get, the, get it. Um, so yes, I'm... Whoa, whoa, you have ult, you saber. I just looked at your gear, not to interrupt, but I just saw your gear. You have ult, you saber. Yes, indeed. Oh, wait, because you're uh, playing against how, me? How long did I get you? That uh, seems chaotic. Oh, wait, the, the headgear? Oh, ink saber? Th yeah, that's because I got it from I Grisco. It easy, right? that, it's, it's pretty easy if you get them from Grisco. Oh, okay. they're... they're Heading in their base now. I got Ooh. it, I got him. Okay, got there's still him. one up there. Oh, he dropped down. Hello, hello. I'll give this person a mine. Oh, fuck. What are you doing? Who is that? Oh, my God. Oh, hit two shots. Let's go. Perfect accuracy in the air. Damn. Can't beat that. <laughs> Oh, tactic board. Let's go. Thank you. We have protection for a few minutes. Down there, down there, down there. 
I like marking him with the, uh, what's it called? The <gasps> I have this, this sub thing. That's right. I, for, I always forget. Yeah, I forgot my subs as well, but I just remember. Plus, like, since I have, like, um, fa fast ink recovery, I can basically just spam them for days. I have, like, no... Imagine no if you had Ooh. Where's that guy going? Oh, someone needs to get him into our base. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So, yeah, um... I don't know if you watched our podcast, uh, of me and Frog, uh, but Frog mentioned that recently he's trying the, the freaking Sniper Rider H5, and he said, oh, I want to get five stars in it. I was like, you're never going to do that. And now in the podcast, uh, I was like, are you going to do that? He was like, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I was like, I told you. Um, but yeah, so he's trying the H3. But he's not really sticking to it. I'm probably sure. I mean, I think he said that he was nearly like four stars into it, so that that's good. But like, I'm pretty sure at some point I'll be trying the H3, and I'll, I'll be labbing it intensively, and I'll probably have stuff to say and put in a video. <laughs> so yeah. I I try to snipe right here, but sniping is just not my thing with sticks. I just can't. I can get one or two kills, or maybe if I'm like really into it, I can get like four. That's it. <laughs> well, hey, you, you, you got yourself right here as a leader main, a four star leader main, not to mention. Plus, played a lot of e leader in Splatoon 2. I don't know if it's just me, but I got this new controller, but every time I press this little D pad right here, it always brings you to the left. What, what will happen? You see, like... I'm not gonna explain this first. So, like, on the bottom of my controller is like a D-pad, kind of. Like a huge D-pad. And if I press the... Oh, <laughs> if I press the left D-pad, it just, like, goes to the map automatically. It's normal. If you press the left D-pad, it goes to the map? That's weird. Wait, oh my god. Is it, is it easier? Let me make it. It's gonna be a horrible picture, but. I have made a room. Okay, I, I put a photo of focus fishing. I, I don't think Eng is gonna be coming. You never know, maybe someone just popped in. Wait, that's not an official controller? It is. It's crazy. Some weird stuff's happening with it, and that's probably because it's not it's not a controller from Nintendo. I I got it from Nintendo, but it's I I have another one just from Nintendo. In in the I'll give you the front. The front the front will be better. Sure, you got it from me. Nintendo. I never seen Nintendo do transparent controllers. I don't Trust know about this. My thumb is in the photo, I hate that, but I don't care. I mean, you know, if it, it, the fact that it has a Nintendo Switch logo doesn't mean anything. You know, I, I bought a... No, I'm just giving you the front. I'm just giving you the front. Oh, yeah, okay. Because, you, you know, I, I actually bought a... A Nintendo controller, because like, okay, my first like pro controller is actually um I used one because I was like super cheap and I didn't have enough money for like buying one. Uh, my second one I tried to buy new. I bought the cheapest I could find online. Turns out it was a fake. Um, how do I know it was a fake? It, it's because I'm well, so freaking like noticing all of the little details, and I noticed that, for example, the the screws. That are in the controller, um, like the holes that you put the screws in, they're not. I'm dead. They, they were not aligned, <laughs> and also the, the light, the light that blinks whenever you charge it was not orange; it was red. Also, like 
it would do a weird vibration whenever you turn it on. Also, it would not connect to my computer. Also, lots of like small details like this. You get a light when you plug it in. Wait, wait did it come? What, what box did it come in? Um, an actual official like Nintendo box, but it was in Japanese. They were like, "What the fuck do you mean? I'm I'm in French. It should be in French or in English at least, right?" But it was Japanese. It was clear, clearly something wrong there. Wait, I was like, oh. dude, you you might want to check your your provider because it's a fake controller. He was like, "No, no, I'm pretty sure it's 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 a real controller." And then I sent him all the evidence. I was like, "Oh, okay. I, I guess I'll tell them that it's fake." <laughs> Pretty well, sure he was the one I... making the whole deal. Well, even if it's fake, it doesn't you can't use it. That's the good part. Some fake controls are super good. <laughs> My perspective. I wouldn't just throw it away. At least I know, like, if I'm gonna buy a new controller, I'm definitely gonna, like, make 100% sh sure I buy it from the Nintendo website, and I'm... Or, like, at least a trusted source, right? And I'm Target? also gonna make sure it's a Splatoon controller, because I'm, I'm gonna treat myself. I can never find a I got it from Target. Target is one. You can know. You can know when it comes fake from Target. It'll tell you. You know those little things that you throw in Splatoon? Oh, the Neon Wyvern is in the chat. He's saying, what's up? We're running the H3 today? Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, sir. Actually, I'm running the Junior, actually. I'm running the new Junior. I think it has to see the good Not a new one. What okay. are enemies everywhere? Stop being everywhere. I'm going for it. Oh my god. Sorry, Let's go. We got two direct hits. One after the other. I am happy. Can you hold on way from here? Oh yeah, you can. I just love that. Goody. So yes, as uh, as I was telling Tree, uh, just just right now, uh, I I like giving some love to weapons that usually don't get it. So right now we're trying the H3 nuzzle nose. Let's go. H3 nuzzle nose. Uh, unboxing. First impressions. Uh, no clickbait. Unboxing. <laughs> imagine, Im imagine like people they buy weapons from like uh, Sheldon, and they like they get mm -hmm. this big package I assume or something. They go home, they like they they fire up Twitch, OBS, whatever. They start streaming. They're like unboxing my new H3. I'm so happy. Let's go. It was my birthday, and my parents bought it for me. <laughs> I got a fake splat roller. <laughs> on on splat tube. Splat tube. How's it going then? I have a hard enough time aiming when I'm using a normal weapon. Well, yeah. The thing is, you know, I think... I think shooters, the fact that you can just shoot permanently, it's like, you're kind of running... You're probably gonna run into the same problems that the H3 encounters were like, you're missing, right? Whenever you try to aim. You're like, oh, I aim at the... Um, I aim like two after them or two like... I mean, you know, two forward or two back, depending on how fast they're going, and you're missing. But the thing with shooters that keep shooting is that if you miss, you will instinctively notice that and adjust the aim. And as you do that, some of the shots will hit. Uh, I'm making a room again, by the way. Um, Sorry, so yeah. So uh, as, as you do that, some of the shots will aim. The problem with the A3 is that it doesn't fire continuously. So if you miss your first shots, well, you're going to try to readjust your aim. But by that time, nothing is going to come out of your gun. <laughs> and then by the time you're like, oh shit, I need to press the button again. Then you're going to be misaligned again. So basically you need to be like really careful about your aiming before you even fire the button. And you won't have any feedback. It's kind of like a guessing game. You, you need to be really good. Um, but it is, just, it's not uh, too hard. Not to like, uh, interrupt. <laughs> when you were talking, I, I, I when, when you heard me gasp, so I just got a shine, like, just got a super rare capsule. <laughs> what, what did you say? 
I got the the golden capsule. Oh, oh, let's go. I I, I just pulled one out. <laughs> It but wait, so have cool. you have you tried like uh, inputting your stuff on the website? Hmm? Have you tried uh, inputting your results on the website? That gives you, um, it, yeah, that gives you that predicts your results. Oh, that website I Because because like here's the thing, here's here's the thing. Since you just got a gold capsule and that's pretty rare, if you if you start inputting like what you got, uh, starting with the gold capsule. Uh, you're probably mm -hmm. gonna find your your uh, like seed way quicker, because it's it's just gonna have to check where you have gold capsule, and then a few things after that, and then bam, it's gonna guess where you are on the seed. Oh. So yes, you're gonna have an easier time checking if you do it right now. Shouldn't be too hard. What was I gonna say? Oh. What are those subs called where like you throw them and they target uh, enemies and they explode? I forget. What, what, what did you say? The ones that you throw, like torpedoes, torpedoes, torpedoes. Uh huh. You know, like, do you have to make them target someone, like throw them in the air? Can you like roll them on the ground and make them explode? Yeah, you can roll them on the ground. I think it does. I forgot how much it does. Maybe 30, maybe 60 damage. I forgot. But it, you can roll them on the ground. It's like a a rollable a, a rollable splat bomb, except it doesn't one shot. It's a roll. It's a mix between a, a rollable splat bomb and a burst bomb, kind of. It's interesting. Oh. <sighs> Get away! No. Did you die? No, you didn't die. Right? The, ra the radius of the roof slider is very big. <laughs> The, this, this delay. Wait, what what what'd you say? I have this trouble understanding. Seems like you just died there. Uh yeah. Ow! Ow! Brain blaster. No! I need to play more correctly. Uh, I put a wave breaker in there, but this is kinda annoying. A little mm -hmm. annoying. Just a little. Okay, there's I'm a guy down. here. Oh, well, he's coming on. The range blaster is right on my tail. So let's go. Well, that guy is probably dead right about soon. Fuck it. Fuck you! It's too open. What happens if you get the perfect shot when you're reloading on the H3? That's like the most painful thing ever. Oh, uh, I could try to save you. Oh my god. Okay, what is the oh. deal? We have two down, this is not good. I need to get some high ground. It's, um, it's kind of hard on this map because um, the H3 definitely, definitely likes to have line of flat lines of sight. And this map doesn't really provide that uh, too much. It's kind of Why is our goal arrow spray painted? He's just painting in a race, not even trying to push forward. You know what? I'm just gonna sit here and be in the room. Okay, there you go, Aero Spray. Good boy, I love. Now good. I can move two inches forward. Like, the best you did. Good night! Good night! Oh no, I'm dead! I traded. He's coming close. He's one is down. I just support the. Uh, uh, Run behind! behind. Oh. Oh. I knew he was probably there, but then I just forgot about him. Should have, should have checked. Oh come on! I'm painting. I'm painting. Oh my god! I'm painting someone. Jumping. 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 Didn't do okay. anything. Did I yeah, paint Floner Heights is rough for mid-range weapons. Yes, Floner, I feel like Floner Ooh. Heights is very good for like short-range stuff that doesn't care about like sight lines. It just cares about like what's in front of them. And then for the rest of of the gameplay, you can just like focus on platforming. And then when, cause like the zones, 
in, in themselves they're like very small very like self-contained and they're like bridged by some platforming challenges hmm. so if you have a fast weapon that shoots not very far then that's that's perfect for this map I don't know it's kind of because like I mean I guess you can aim down with snipers and stuff but it's awkward as frick it's so weird because it's not something you train on <laughs> Uh, so yes, probably sh means that I should switch my weapon, right? Oh, I, I just picked your weapon. This is gonna be bad for me. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be terrible. We're gonna lose. Oh, no, we're not. We're gonna win. Just, no, just no, I'm, I'm not expecting to win with this. We have like basically two players down. <laughs> big, big, Ma big max. We can like combine. Act as a, a full player, maybe. But we have to be but positive. We got yeah, on, <laughs> on Flounder Heights, I'm not expecting great results. Well, guess what? We're, we're in Flounder Heights again. Um, well, good, good game. See you later. <laughs> we have a sploosh. We have a sploosh. That's good. That's good. We're fine, then. Oh, yeah. Oh, you move slow when you shoot on the h 3 I think that's bad. Yeah, I, I think it's um yeah I think it's a heavy weapon. So I'll sit I, 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 on this part of the map. Double okay, H three. Oh yes, the H six nozzle nose. Yes, <laughs> I like that. Ah, oh, he's coming close. He's coming too close. Get away! Get away! Got him! Okay. Got him! No, how does that guy see me? It's a rapid blaster, Neo. I mean. Why do you say Neo? <laughs> Shouldn't it be like the custom Rapid Blast instead? <laughs> I got, oh, I, I got him. I Let's go. Coming up. I'll mark them. <gasps> Markers, you're right. You're, you're very correct. What do you mean? I just have you. Cause like the markers are. No, they don't help. Oh, let's go one shot. Markers are very great because like whenever you mark someone, they're like they're gonna play more scared. They're not gonna move up as much because they're like if they move up, you know where they are and you're more likely to shoot at them and kill help, them. Help! 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 Got him! One yep. shot! Wow. I think that was just too like no way. That so was yes, markers are very useful. Oh, let's go one shot. <laughs> oh, someone down there. Back to cooler. Yes, I'm coming up. Got him. One Let's shot. go. Grab that. Mm -hmm. I, I oh my God. That guy. Can. Dead. Let's go. I'm up there. Also, like, honestly, the H3 is not have oh. bad at painting walls. Like, you, you can, like, if you aim your three shots, if you move your camera while you're doing the shots, you can actually paint a full wall. Like the whole the whole length of the height of a uh, a flounder, which is good. That crab is dead. <laughs> He's not looking. He was right here. <laughs> He's like, hello. I'm ready to be shot. I'm like, hmm, sure, sure thing. <laughs> no, shut up, shut up, shut up. Come on, shut up. <sighs> I got him, I got him. He's in my range. Mm, I want to beat him. I don't blue. think the map blue. looking too I good right blue. now. Okay, the okay, map so looking re so really much not happens. good. Got a one shot, let's go. That guy's dead also because I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him, machine. He's gonna come up and I one shot at him. I predicted him. See that? It's not even like. Predicting and adjusting your your aim. I'm a it. It's just like predicting and 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 he's gonna come up and you're gonna one shot him because he's right where you predicted that he's gonna pop up over the wall. I'm so Freaking. good. Let's go. Oh, we we, let's go. See, we won. I... No way. H6 actual actual viable strat. Let's go. Actual New meta option. <laughs> look at the look at the mid mid season patch notes. Edge uh, three has been buffed. It's got it now. It kills in only two shots. It has more range. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Ten kills. Damage. Nice. I wish. Alright, we're we doing this again. <laughs> no, hey, hey, no way. 
you so like <laughs> we both got 10 kills and you got like two deaths with which is even less than than me and then the other person has got zero kills so we basically killed all of the, all of the people for them we carried this game no way we carried the game dude it sucks it's carrying the game i am actually surprised like okay I took a random weapon. I'm the one I'm gonna be with. Okay, I I accidentally picked a big swig now. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Oh, the big swig. Mmm, interesting. <laughs> big swig does just... uh, 30 damage. So how much does that? Ooh, yeah, that. So if you if you land just like one shot, one horizontal shot, no matter where you land it, if if I fire at someone and I miss one of my shots, I'm still gonna kill them as long as you hit them before. Or if I do and and I miss, then you have a one shot, which is your your normal roller flick. Yes, which let's go. Okay. Very uh, interesting. I tell you what happened to Mahi. <laughs> what, what, I was what'd you doing. Say? I was. Uh, I was in crab, I think. And then some guy came behind me, but trying to kill me. He has your weak spot behind. I just balled up and he died. He touches the wall. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna get on the middle platform. Alright, don't die. Should be alright, you got one. In, like, three One's coming on the left side. Left shortcut. Oh, big bubbler almost tried to get that. Trade it over the big bubbler. I mean, the bubbler. Okay, the H3 is pretty bad at, um, at killing. The bomb, Hi. so that's one thing to note. I remember you saw a marker. I like though how the scanning, the 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 scan, the the point sensor, you can actually throw it on top of the tower when you're on it, and that way you know which people are trying to come up on you. I almost forgot I have flat wall. <laughs> oh yes, definitely make sure to use your splash walls and ink backs. <gasps> Especially like use your ink backs on on well, I guess. Anyone that's trying to come too close to players or people who are very bad because it's hard to play, such as the H3, if you get what I mean. Well, another comp point. I have a comment. Why, why not? Do you have a special ink wall? And then, uh, special. Like, if they're coming towards you, like, ink wall and special. You know what I mean? Uh, I didn't quite get that. Uh, okay, hold on. So, if they're, if they're coming towards you, ink wall them. So you can block them and then uh that so you can like account. Oh yeah yeah, that. well definitely before you use your special, definitely make sure to use a wall. That's that's the strat. Oh. Huh. Look wait, just, uh, wait, he's here. He's okay, here. I, I think oh. we're kinda getting pressured right now. We are very hardly getting out of our thing. I, I okay, let's do something. I will go to the right side. I will go to the flank route, but I cannot go alone because I am gonna die. So if you do want to come with me, that would be nice. I will try, but my weapon is like. You can super jump, by the way. Oh, uh, too late. I'm already oh, okay, someone's with me, so that's good. We got that guy. Let's go. We're we're hitting them from the sides. Let's go. The booyah bomb is dead. We got two down. Let's infiltrate okay. the, their base. Okay. Can someone get the Lob is dead. Okay, yeah, I can't. I can't the blob. It's not like Last person is there. also dead. Let's go. They're all respawning right now. That guy is getting pressured right there on the sides. They're getting pressured at base. They're getting pressured at base. Let's go. That guy is dead. He's Let's go. We're, really we're, we're doing some damage right there at the end. No, I think we got this. Yeah, we got this. Oh, we have all the base. We have all the base. Yeah, I, I don't. I think we still got it though, cause we got most of mid. We have their base as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm, no I don't way. know. I don't know. Bro. Ooh, that okay. That was close, but okay. Yeah, pr probably the booyah bomb there at the end turns the tide. Yeah, I didn't see him. I think it was dude. The twenty pink X two X had like amazing gear. Mm. The Neon Wyvern says beautiful teamwork at the end there. Thank you. Thank you. 
40 you level? Going? 40? I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my catalog. Wait, did you finish your catalog? Uh, yes. I knew it. I knew it. I mean, I think it's because I stacked some... Um... Like... The thing that doubles your XP... Really fast. So, yeah. Which, if you aren't doing that, you probably should, because I'm pretty sure you got way more tickets than you're ever going to be able to use. So you can just basically just spam the level 2 one, and you're still not going to run out of it anyways. I think just, today is my lucky day. Like, if you don't have any tickets running, then you're probably doing something wrong. And I, d d yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm okay, saying I'll, that, I'll but then the I don't have a ticket running right now. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm wrong. Yeah, cavity again. Um, I had to get my reward. That's why I'm not in this match. But, uh, I got, I got a super, I got a super rare cuttlefish card. I think, like, today, which was... Whew. Oh, nice. And then I got a fresh card pack. Ooh. Oh. Calium. No new weapons. This is fine. This is all fine. Oh my gosh! I call aim. I'll be back in a few minutes because I'm gonna eat dinner. Okay. Because. Whoa, well, actually, it's different time for you. I forgot. <laughs> I can't aim correctly, it's so hard to aim when you have to, to predict the movement of your opponents. Oh, God. Oh, let's go, I got a one shot. Days marked. Oh, my God. Oh, darn, we're struggling. No way. We're like two versus three right now, and they're just pushing into our base like crazy. Can you, can you freaking stop, please? Can you, can you just stop just like going into our base? Like, yeah. another one? Another run, really? Can you guys just chill out? Frick. Oh, come on. They got such a good control of mid. And uh it's kinda of annoying. You know what? Last minute flank. Oh never mind. They sneak into our base? Absolutely. We're screwed. No problem. I'm making behind them. Hopefully that does something. Fuck it! Fuck you! I'm dead. Oh well. Yeah, probably should have watched my surroundings instead of like looking away. Oh gee, that's terrible. <sighs> I will remake the room and probably change weapons actually. Um, let me think. Stop. Make another room. Oh wait, no, actually, I'm gonna get rewards. Mm-hmm. Rewards. We have we have that thing, okay. And then I will go to make a room.
and then I will switch weapons. And I will pick... Um, I will pick... I can't sort weapons, this is annoying. My stick is dead still. Uh, kind of want to have a weapon that does stuff. Hmm. <laughs> A weapon that does things. Like this one. I feel like it's gonna be annoying for enemies. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's keep that here. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna drop in on the match because I don't know where um, the tree is. And then they can join me by dropping in. As you can do. Charging my very fast, so I can just spam the fizzy bomb, which is very cool. When you do. Let's go. Ouch. <laughs> Oh, let's go, we got 4v2. Even though I died, we're we're in a good advantage state right now. Just throwing this out there. That's why you can't go anywhere. Because I'm Wait, 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 wait. How did you kill the brush guy? I'm I'm covering so much of your ground on your feet and you're still managing to do stuff. How are they managing to kill my teammates when I'm paying so much over them? No way. How did that not kill that guy? I don't understand anything about this game. <laughs> oh, hello. Do we have a person in the voice chat? Yes. Just so it is Pangake. I am currently not doing summoning. I am doing uh, something else actually. I was planning to do some body but the person is not there. So I'm just playing some third floor. I can't really hear you, your microphone is very low. Sorry, is that better? Yep. Uh, it was facing the exact opposite way of my mouth so far. I'm good. How's the map looking? Oh, we're all dead. That's not very good. 
We'll still hide most of the maps, so hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's good. Oh, Ooh, it's probably not good. You have my blessings. I hope you win. Thank you, thank you. Get me pain in this every question. Oh, yes, they probably are. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh server maintenance. Uh oh. Freshness raised on the air spray, LMAO. Uh. They have 40 HP pretty free. Is it test in the training room? Yeah, if you know what? Two bombs splashing still. Friendly. Wait. Friendly fire? <laughs> that teammate gave me of that LMAO. Seven pages of submarine tutorial content. Oh my. I just shoot the fish. Simple. Brain easy. Brain happy. How, how can I go to the room? Can you say you go to the room? Oh, the shooter's room. Okay, I'm going to go to the room. Oh, that guy's in a big. Ah! Okay, so yes, so what I have are 40 HP, not 50. Oh, whoops, mistake. Oh, wait, they are, they update us. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you mean, update, update somewhere, what? Oh, sorry, um, I gotta finish the update happening in like an hour. Server maintenance is going up, so I can't even join the game anymore. Oh, yeah, I, I, I don't even know. They might have did some changes, I'm not sure. As far as I'm aware, it's just the uh, PvP stuff. Um, uh, I mean, it's general fixes and balance patches. I mean, if, if they have fixes to make, I'm sure they would include them about some of them. Like, just like small balance changes. Yeah, I just haven't read the entire patch though. Yeah, I just got it just a bit. What's that guy's in here? Good. Hanging in our base. You pull. Hey, 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 hey. That's my technique, you don't get to use it on me. Let's go, I got a kill. Let's go, I got two kills with the Feezy Bomb! No way. Oh, Another guy was still in our base. The wolves are cleaning way too much shit on the deck. No 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 Why are there two people in a base? Can you stop being existing in here? Less existing, thank you. Another one wants to come in? No, wait. It's good. It's good then. We're gonna have a mutual understanding or not? You don't get in my base, I don't kill you. As easy as that. Triple. The same location. Oops, server maintenance will now begin. Ouch, well, that's the last match, and we messed it up. Who won that? I don't know. Seems pretty tight.
list of summon enemy health, I've only been able to determine the health of efficiency. Flight, flight fright is greater than daily but less than 32. And then the constitution by Julie's fault, she's a different season, just for that so it's just set to 32. Okay. Um, what if I hit keep going? Does it work? I mean, it says matching. I don't know. From 1 a.m. UTC to... Oh, wait, is it in one hour? Wait, no. It is already 1 a.m. UTC. Oh, no, it's in 10 minutes. Okay, oh, I'm done. It's connected, okay. You may age feel the whole will be at maximum. I don't know. Uh, that is very interesting, of course. And for this incorrect information. Uh, <clears throat> if any of the chances are still alive, but it's from the Not less than a small freight is exactly the same as a small freight. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Huh. I think we can go in the base and not looking. He's not looking. He is slacking. I'm in the base. Low, low. Where's that guy going? He's going down. I'm in the base all alone. They're not looking. <laughs> this way. Come on, guys. This way. Let's go. Let's go. Someone's super jumping to me. Let's go. Base invasion. Has begun. Oh yes, look at all that paint I'm able to put out with the with the air spray. Okay, two of them are gonna respawn. They're not looking though. They're not looking. What are they gonna do? Oh, they're gonna jump up, huh? Can uh, he's dead? Let's go. No, 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 no. I'm escaping. I'm escaping. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, he's dead. He's dead. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, they're coming on me. They're coming on me. Okay. Fuck, 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 fuck. I missed my... My... The shark guy. No! No, he was looking! <laughs> I didn't kill him. Oh. Can you kill him? Can you do it? Can he actually do it? Oh, no. Oh no, we're gonna- <gasps> We got him from behind, let's go, booyah! I am proud of you. That guy was playing hide and seek like a pro. Like, 
Okay, I got him back, and then I died. Ooh, Vinian Wyvern. Sorry, I wasn't reading your messages because I had my Google Chrome tab of my tutorial open because I need to do some fixes because I put some misinformation. Me when spreading misinformation online because it's fun. Um, so yes, I, I, you were saying, did you read the patch notes yet? Incoming air spray buff. Oh, let's go. The... There's summon run bug fixes, but no balance changes. Okay, okay, interesting. So yeah, uh, as soon as the server change patch hits maintenance, I will be checking the patch notes and and we will take a look at them. Let's go. Ah well, I'm gonna go be a cowboy now and show your games. Bye. Um, how much time is left? Some time is left. Some of it. Someone join. Oh, okay, now that's just the people I was playing with. Attention, I got an ad break. I don't mind it, but I thought I wanted to, I thought you wanted to disable ads, so it's something you'd want to know. Yes, I that is very I disabled it on my account. I like I it's it's not on my end. I uh, literally don't know what to do. I could try like enabling them again and then disabling them again, but I don't think it's I, I'm I'm gonna try. But I have no clue why why this happened. Um, so I'm sorry about this. Also, hello, penguin guy. I think that guy wants to split party. I don't know if I want to participate in that though. It's not, not the right time. I'm trying to do the last matches before the server maintenance hits. You gotta be try hard for the sake of it. I need to run. You know where I'm. Oh, I'm dead. You really get paid a little bit for the ads. I don't know. I, I, mean, I, I guess. Otherwise, I guess it would be like stealing and not very fair from them. Um, I will. I will definitely check what's happening. It's, it's so confusing. It's like I wish there was. A, I, I was gonna say I wish there was a tutorial. Actually, I'm dumb because there there might probably be some tutorials, like some people explaining how how Twitch ad stuff works. Uh, so I probably should check on YouTube some tutorials about it, um, which I, I might do. But it's like, it's like, you got some normal ads, then you got some pre-roll ads, then you got some mid ads, then you got some, some ad, suggested ad rolling period timings, and then you got some uh, revenue splits, and, the, and then, uh, I don't know. Can you guys make it easy and have a button like I don't want ads and or slash I, I don't know Cause I mean there is a button I don't want ads And then when you click it apparently it still has ads So what? How? Where? Or maybe I'm just dumb Wait, okay Hold up, hold up, hold up My alarm is ringing Okay 
or, or maybe I'm not dumb and maybe it's just that they're making it very hard so that you look like a dummy. Oh my gosh, I'm bad. I'm not doing anything correctly. Okay, Google, thank you for telling me my information, but I, I don't need it right now. Communication error has occurred. Oh, that's because, uh... Oh, no way! That means we didn't get the points. It's, it's just like, it's a communication error. But it's not like, oh, communication error because teammates. It's just like, fuck you, servers are over. Get out of there. Okay. <gasps> Yo, wait. Is that a new animation? No, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. That was a new animation. That was a new animation. Where she's, like, calling someone, and then she's, like, getting really mad. That's new. Wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. I'm pretty sure I saw her get mad. No, hold on. Hold on. Hold up. Hold the phone. The literal phone. Yes, she's on a call. She's getting angry. Look at this. Look at this. It's so cool. Why? Why did I never see that before? That's that's like that's new. I thought they were only like getting on their phones and like taking selfies maybe once in a while, but no, they're taking calls with them. That's cool. Well, anyways. Let us take a look at the patch notes uh, real quick. So uh, uh, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. So this is done. How do I set up the patch notes? Let me let me do that real quick. Um, I need to set up the PC computer. How do I add that? Additional windows. It will be. Uh, it will be what will it be? Is this this scroll? No. Uh, I'm struggling, I'm sorry. Plus add a new window. And this window will be Google Chrome. Window capture. Add. Oh, 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 oh I know. I will make a one of those. Guest profile window thing. Um, uh, what am I looking for? Oh, yeah, the patch notes. Patch notes, uh, they are right somewhere. I, I'm I kind of lost them. Where are the patch notes? I will look for them in here. Oh, yes, they're on the website. It's called How to Update update Splatoon which is totally not a confusing place to find the patch notes on the update tutorial for people that don't know how to use their switch that is where you find the patch no the pa the patch notes um whoop I have the link I will add the window create new it will be called uh chrome uh guest And this is the correct one, which is perfect. Um, so I will now display the thing. I will transition. B -b 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 and here you go. We got the patch notes. Is this the correct thing? Yes, it is. That's perfect. So, version 2.1.0 released January 17, 2020. 2023 that's today or yesterday i guess depending on the time zone changes to multiplayer specifications for some of the main weapons have changed uh, so let's actually get can i okay okay okay, okay. can i do this bloom i will go in the training mode actually i will go to sheldon can you get to sheldon if you're not connected to the internet i don't think you can Ooh, that's not cool. Oh, come 
Oh, look at his face. He looks like he looks angry. He looks like like he doesn't want to talk to you because you're you're bad. You're not connected to the internet. Anyways, I guess I can just go into the training mode from here. Yes. Okay. And so now we can test. So error spray changes, right? We go to the website. What does it say? It says, it says, the size of terrain area inked by falling spray has been increased by about 10%. Dang, Sheldon is personally offended that you have no internet. Yeah, right? He's like, no LAN cable? Fuck you. You're like, you're playing on Wi-Fi? You. <laughs> Get an actual connection. Freaking playing on McDonald's connection internet. McDonald's Wi-Fi. Um, so they're saying the size of terrain area inked by full spray is increased by 10%. So you mean per shot? That's pretty saucy. Right? That's actually pretty saucy. Let me let me check. Let me check. Splatoon. So you got one shot. One, one shot. So you mean that that thing is going to be like 10%? wider like for one shot it's not that big but for like all the shots you're gonna fire really fast that's actually pretty good honestly pretty pre pretty pretty nice um what's what do we get, have next we have jet sculpture reduced blur when firing on land by 70 percent what you mean you mean the wait the blur does that mean the how is that thing called? Well, I see, I don't know the name of the thing. So that probably means that it was a good thing that they changed it. Because I think before they referred to that as... I think it's just the spread, basically. The weapon's spread. And I think they called it the... I don't know, maybe accuracy? But now they call it blur. Or maybe they're just, like, referring to something else. But I assume they're calling it... The, it's... Yeah. I assume it's the, the weapon's spread. So if I go to the jet sculpture real quick, let me let me switch the thing. Okay. So it says jet sculpture. Oop. Oh, it's so hard to clean up the map because it's using the minus button, it's not using the L button. So the blur. Reduced by 70%. So that means it's more accurate then. Because I don't see what blur could mean. So when you're on the on the ground. It's even more precise, which is good, because that way you can beam people. So then jet sculpture is going to be way more scary um, if they know how to aim. Splatter shot Nova. The splatter shot Nova, the size of terrain area inked by shots has been increased by about 19%. Wait, hold on. So this, I think this is kind of different from the aerospray uh, thing. Because it says the size of terrain area inked by shots has been increased by about 19%. So it's the area that is inked by shots. The area that that is potentially being able to be hit. So I, I think it's just like making it wider. I don't think it's like per shot it's better. Unless it is per shot better, which would be like a total massive buff. Because like 19%, that, that's pretty massive. Uh, but I do think it's like just the area is bigger. Um, Dynamo Roller. The damage rate reduction caused by distance has been adjusted. You can now cause 50 damage slash 100 damage from farther away from than before. <gasps> oh. Oh, okay. Ooh, ooh, that's scary. That's scary. That oh my gosh. So that means the dynamo roller is now a better killing machine at a distance. It's a sniper. So you should be scared at at of the dynamo roller from anywhere, everywhere. That's let me actually test it. I want to see what the ranges are. Uh, so if we go to the dynamo, sadly I cannot sort the the weapons but i found it nova buff is hype it's a support weapon and now it can actually be good at supporting hey it was pretty good at supporting it's got it's got the it's got the it's good like i actually like brock tried it he, he liked it pretty much it's just you gotta be i mean i don't know 
I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, so let, let, let us check it out. That kills. Correct. Um, what doesn't kill? We need to go to there. Yeah, that's 80 damage. So I think here it's like 100. Okay, that's 95. Here it's probably 100. Ah, oh, come on. Like, it's literally 100, bro. Um, so it's, yeah, it's like 2.5. That's killing. And then if you go to there, I think like 3.5, it should be 50 or something. Oh, no, that's still... Wait, no, because I'm not... Okay, here. Here I am at 50. Uh, still not. Maybe a bit farther. Uh, something like that. Yeah, that's 50, okay. It's like, uh, 3.75? Okay. And so you're telling me, if we go all the way back, I'm not doing any damage. So, okay, so 50 is the tip, basically, of... Okay, 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 okay. So you mean, instead of doing 40 then, it will just do, like, 50 all the time? Because they adjusted the range? Or maybe, like, they adjusted the range so that's 50, so that it's it's harder to... So that it's more easy to get the lower damage at 40. Wait, hold on. Did they increase the, the range? Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. They said, you can now cause 50 damage and 100 damage from farther away than before. Okay, so I assume... The, I don't know if they removed the ability to do 40 or if it's like super super tiny but I assume it's like 50 damage minimum now and like 100 damage from from like maybe from, from here let's say from 3 instead of like 2.5 boom that's like 100 now it's like 3 bam you one shot or, or maybe like 2.75 that would be cool um that will make it more consistent to kill, like, from, you know, ranges like these. Where, like, you're, you're like, pretty close to the person. Like, mm, maybe maybe I could kill from there. And you can't actually kill from there. Um, definitely will give some fighting chance for, for the dynamo. Like, you could actually outrange a splatter shot with the dynamo. With the one shot, right? It, it will be scary, basically. Like, the, the splatter shot would be scared of the dynamo. Because the dynamo could kill you. From where you cannot even like reach them, which is pretty cool. Um so what is what is the next thing we've got? Dynamo big swig. Oh big swig. To me No way! Buff to the damage of the big No way, hold on. Now you're telling me it's a it's a, it's it's wait, thirty plus thirty Yeah, okay, so it was a it was a four shot weapon. Unless, like, you're really close. And in case it does, like, more damage. But now it's, like, um, at minimum, at the very minimum, if you hit, like, three shots, or, like, three uh, horizontal shots from far away, it's gonna kill in three shots. Minimum. Which is fucking insane. So instead of, like, having 30, 30, 30, and then you're at 90 damage and you still need one, it's, like, 35, 35, you're at 70, 35 again, boom, you're at 105. It's very cool. It combos with more stuff then. Right? Like you can combo with like other teammates doing doing that. It's very nice. Very nice. And I, I guess like let's think of it. Because. Okay. Okay. Let me actually pick the big swig. Uh, Big swig is somewhere close. Because I use the weapon kind of a lot. Maybe somewhere. Come on. Big swig's got to be in here. Oh, okay, I missed it, it's here. So, 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 the big swig does 30 damage. I mean, no, here it does 70. But basically, the deal was, you can kill someone by doing, like, 30, and then you get closer and you do the 70. So, if, if you're, like, if you're right close to someone, you do 70, and then you can kill, kill them with the other shot, no matter where you are. So, like, 70, wait, oops. Whoops. 70, and then 30, and that... That works but now basically it's like even if you do like not the full 70 and then you got 35 35 would combo basically if you do 65 which seems pretty hard to do so you're probably not gonna do that actually um never mind then 
Wait, hold on. That is supposed to do 40 damage and the... Uh, 2... 40 plus 2... No, it doesn't actually change the combos too much. Because you can still do like one vertical... I mean horizontal... Wait, no, wait, wait. Anyways, one long range and then two short range. And that will kill because it's like 40 and then 30 and 30 again. Um, so it doesn't actually change the combos. It's just like if you're close to... I mean, if, if you're just like spamming like this, right? You're going to kill in three shots. So here, like, it, it didn't even kill the person. After like three shots, the person is probably already running away very far from you. There's no way you're killing them. That basically just improves if you're like spamming over someone. That will make it more of a threat, right? Because usually, one cool thing that you can do with the big swig is that it paints a lot, so you can just like get up there and let me just clean up the map real quick, like that. And so, like, there's someone moving below, and you can just do that. And look at all the ink it's managing to fire very far. Like, that's a pretty annoying amount of ink to go through. And if you're like receiving that on your head, like you're you're gonna die at some point so you don't really want to stay too long but also you can kind of stay like kind of not too long but like you can't, you're not too pressed to move out because like four shots that's a long thing but then three shots now now we're talking a little bit more now now you're more pressured to get out of there it's like one two and you're dead um so you're like oh 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 shit i need to get out um, so yes, that is my two cents on it. It's, it's better for, for basically the thing that the big swig likes to do, which is painting over people's head. That's that's the best thing. And it doesn't really change the rest, which I think is fair, because I think the, the big swig, I like it how it is. I like, the, I like the damage combos. That's very fun to do. It's very hard to get kills with it, but that's the point. It's not supposed to get kills, but it's so fun when you manage to still get kills with it. Let me read chat. It's a shame that they didn't also buff the max damage, but minimum damage was what was much needed to Yes. I don't I don't think Honestly, if you buff the max damage, you basically make the weapon into more more viable for killing, which is not the point. I mean so well. I, I wouldn't want it to get buffed for killing and then like, okay, but now it's too good at killing. Let's unbuff the painting. That's what's fun about it. The paint's so good, it's so Look at this bullshit. Look at this. This is this is not even logical, but it's it's great. Uh, also, you get damage combos like this. It's it's so cool. It's like the weapon cannot like hurt a fly, but if you're close to someone, you can do some sick tricks like this, and that's cool. That's fun. I like that. And also, you can one shot like this, and that's fun and hard. Anyways, enough of me ranting about the about the big swig and me liking it yeah so yeah i think buffing the minimum damage that's basically a fix to it being like basically people can't be like oh but the weapon can only four shot people it's so bad now you're like no it's a minimum three shot so people have to respect it a little bit more <laughs> they can't say oh it's a four shot weapon no shut up now it's a three shot weapon <clears throat> so yes what is the next thing on the line hold on whoop okay the next thing on the line is the Bamboozler 14 MK1. Reduced ink consumption by about 17%. Not bad. Not bad. Let me check. Okay, seeing you test it out made me realize how impactful the Big Swig buff will help. Will be. Helps it poke to make it. To make up for no sub. What do you mean no sub? I mean, okay, the sub doesn't attack. But the sub does what it's supposed to do. I mean, okay, we're not going to get into a whole big sweet thing, but it, it's, it has a sub. All weapons have a sub, and this sub works super well with the big swing. The big swing is, is like, you, you know what? You, you want me to tell you something? You want me to tell you something? You know why I love the big swing so much? Because I'll tell you why I love the big swing so much. I, do you know the Tentabrilla? In Splatoon 2, you had a kit where you had the splash wall and the... Um, the freaking sub where you could like spam the the little curling bombs and imagine you get in a tight corridor right because like see a tight corridor like this you had plenty of those on flanks on splatoon 2 maps so imagine you've got a tenderbella that has a big shield and then you can like throw a wall and then you can like spam the curling bombs 
and then have another shield, another wall, and then by the time you do that, you have yet another set of, like, spammable curling bombs, that's impossible to get through. And that's very fun, and I love to abuse that, that stuff. And now, in Splatoon 3, the, the, the tentabrellas aren't really as useful, because people can move around way more, and the maps are way more flat, and people can get around your shield. And here you got the big swig coming in as a drop-in replacement because it's while it's not quite a wall in the same sense as the Pentabrilla shield is, it's it's a pretty big wall of paint if you see what I mean. That's like if you fire just one shot, then people are gonna struggle to get to you. And then you got a literal wall, and then you got the best next thing uh, that is a replacement for the curling bomb spam, which is that thing. Which is also supposed to block people from coming in. So this weapon is an all-in annoyer of people that are trying to get in on you. It's like it can hold down spots very well. Probably, may maybe not as well as the the, the incline. I th wait, was it incline? I don't know the name of the brand, but like the you yeah, know the Tentabrella Sorella. So it's probably not as good as holding down at holding down spot as that weapon was, but it's pretty down close and it's very fun. So yes, it has it has a sub, it has it's good. I love it. Um, anyways, go back to, to the bamboozer. Uh, so the bamboozer has. Wait, hold on. Oop, this is not good. Let me check real quick. Guys. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Just a sec. Okay. So the bamboozer has 17% less ink consumption, which means... Let me try to empty the ink tank, it's like... That's still a pretty large amount of shots, but that means that you'll still have some after that, which means more painting, I guess. I guess it's mainly for painting. Or, or like, if you're, like, close to the opponents and you're, like, spamming really fast and just trying to, like, scare them. Basically, I think it would make the bamboozer into an even even better weapons for people who don't really know snipers too much and they're just like spam firing and trying to hit some shots. It will make like you have a larger ink tank, so more shots to do and more shots to miss and more shots to eventually hit. I think it's not bad. And yeah, basically you won't have to to be as careful about like retreating. Because you'll always have a little bit more of an ink tank left before you need to retreat. It makes your explorations towards the enemy base be able to be longer. And by the time you come back, you'll still have some ink to fend yourself. You won't feel as limited and held back, uh, basically. Uh, okay, okay. Let's go back to the patch notes. We had the Nautilus 47. Increased firing duration by about 15%. Okay. Not bad. I don't think we need to test this one. Seems pretty straightforward. Uh, gives a buff to the Nautilus, which is... Uh, I don't think it's used that much, so that's cool. People will look at it uh, more. Slushing machine. Increased ink consumption by about 10%. Mm, yes, slushing machine nerfs. That's good. I don't have anything to say about this. I just... I don't know. Slushing machine is too meta. <laughs> I don't like stuff that is meta. I want to be quirky and stuff. Uh, specifications for some sub weapons have changed. Oh, angle shooter. Ooh, is it a buff or is it a nerf? Damon ha damage has been increased from 30 to 35. Mmm. Yes. The radius of ink coverage when, stri when striking terrain or opponents has been roughly doubled. What? So it's cha it changes from nothing to nothing but the double? <laughs> <laughs> it's the double of nothing. No way. That's like so much nothing. Did it, but like, does it does it actually paint anything substantial? Let me. I mean, let me let me try. I guess. But uh, like, ho hold up. Am I missing something? <laughs> okay. So we got. That's that's like nothing. What do you, what do you mean roughly doubled? I mean, doubled as in in one direction or doubled as in like two directions? Because if it's in like two directions, then okay. If it's in one direction, then that means that's kind of what it's gonna look like then, right? 
That's still pretty big. But if it doubled, that's a splat bomb. Wait, that doesn't make sense. No, okay, I think it's gonna... Okay, okay, okay. So maybe... Okay, okay, I get I get it, I get it. I, I, I think I got it. So it's basically... It's, it's basically gonna be like... Something... Kind of like... Kind of like this. And basically, it's like, oh no, I'm being shot. I'm, I'm, I'm in the struggle. And now you can like paint at your feet and just like jump away, which is cool. And I, I don't know if it. I think it costs the same as a burst bomb. So it's basically for the same price as a burst bomb, you get a micro burst bomb, which kind of allows you to get away. And then you do some damage and some some marking. And now it does more damage as well. Not bad, not bad. Um, so yeah, because people were saying, oh, what if it did something like the torpedo, where it actually uh, paints your feet when you throw one? And, I mean, I, I don't know if it really makes sense. Um, but I guess they kind of did, okay, we're, we're gonna make you able to paint your feet if you want to. But it's not like, and you know what, you, okay, you know what, I was gonna say like, Oh yeah, you're not gonna be able like to aim at enemies and also paint your feet. But actually, fuck that, because you can you can just do this, and it still aims forward if you aim down. So like, the the real question is, is there any reason to aim forward when you can always be doing this? I mean, okay, sure, it's it's way harder to aim. So you, yeah, you got your point. But you can you can you can you can you can do that. That works. Um. So okay, okay, pretty. Interesting buff to the angle shooter Ma makes it more. I, I I like these buffs. They're basically just wrink wrinkling out the little wrinkles. They're like g making stuff less. They're not changing how things work. They just buff the things that are the worst about them. Um, I hate to betray you for Jem, but he's reviewing the patch notes too now, so I'm going to pop over on to Squeezers. That's fine, that's fine, go ahead. Um, have a good night slash day, old Chris. Thank you, thank you. Bye, uh, and, uh, and see you some other time. I'll, yeah, I'll also probably check out what Jem has to say if he releases a video on YouTube. Hello. Hello. What, what did we walk in on? John Jr. Yeah, I'm I'm reviewing the the patch notes on Twitch. Oh, okay. ah, we were uh we saw you were in focus fishing and we thought uh hey yes, it, we'll it's it. absolutely unrelated to what I'm doing. I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, uh, we will leave you to reviewing the patch notes now. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Uh. Okay, so we are we have. PC, uh, patch notes, okay, angle shooters, that's good, specifications from some special weapons have changed, um, wait, so did I, uh, angle, angle shooter, pretty cool, um, da -da -da -da. so specifications from some special weapons have changed, uh, tactical, ooh, Tacticals, quick respawn, and special saver will no longer be negated by gear, abilities, respawn, punisher, and haunt. Ooh. 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 So that makes it consistent. It doesn't make it, like, weird. It's like, oh, I popped the special. I am now not, I mean, you're not invincible. But it's like, hmm, I will not lose my special. I know that. I just went with the special. So basically, instead of being, like, it's just some like buffs slash yeah just being some buffs to your stats it's like it could act as a direct counter you're like mm, i know that that guy is often running uh respawn punisher so you could be like mm, i'm gonna be running some tactical or weapon because it's a counter it basically like we don't have to fight if the sniper is really scary we can just like fight kind of scared and 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 leave the sniper to do its own thing. Don't get it in its range. And whenever we got a tacticaler, now we can go out and kind of fight the sniper because we don't really care because we're not going to be affected by respawn punishers. So that's that's pretty nice. Uh, very good. And then what do we got? Uh, other thing: respawn punisher and the hunt effects. 
increase in respawn time and increase in amount of special gods lost will still occur. Wait. Tacticals, quick respawn, and special saver will no longer be negated by gear abilities, respawn pressure, and haunt. Will still occur. Oh, okay. So you wait, hold on. Wait, no, okay, so what they mean is that before it was negated, so if someone hits you with a respawn punisher, you would basically get respawn punisher, but also not get the tacticals buffs, which is kind of weird. But now, like, you get the tacticals buffs, but you still get respawn punished, but you get respawn punished on top of the buffs, which makes the respawn punish less impactful, I guess. Okay, okay, that's cool. Rift Slider. Adjusted the amount of time for the invulnerability window, which occurs after exploding until you're able to move. To a, wait. To about 28th, 60, 28 frames. Wait. Adjusted the amount of, ta of time for the invulnerability window, which occurs after exploding until you're able to move. Okay, but but does that mean that okay okay okay? okay. I don't I don't understand the word wording. Does it mean that you're invincible until you can move, or does it mean that you're invincible just for longer? In the window of time that occurs until you explode and are able to move, I don't know. Kind of weird and confusing, but it still looks like a big chunk of time. Actually, like twenty eight frames. That's like that's like half a second. Hello. That's totally. Let like I mean you're not stuck there for a second so like twenty eighth of the uh, like twenty eight frames that's basically covering the whole thing until you're like actionable again or m maybe even more I mean assuming the wording I think it's not gonna be longer than until you're actionable but darn that's that's a big big buff actually ooh hello um oh hello what you doing. I'm reviewing the patch notes, actually, which is totally you, unrelated are, to the channel I'm in. Are you talking with someone else, then? No, I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm on Twitch. I'm a oh, Twitch okay. streamer. Oh, okay. But since enough. Jem is streaming the patch notes, too, then everybody's flocking to his stream. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> which is fair, it's fair. Um, yeah. So, anyways, buh -da -buh -da -buh -da, we've got this reef slider buff that's cool. Let me try the reef slider. So, okay, I have it charged. Uh, I mean, I can't really test being shot at. But, okay, yeah, it's probably buffed to be invincible up until it can move again, which is absolutely great. Triple Link Strike. Increased the radius of the area damaged by about 10%. Ooh. Increased the damage inflicted by about 50%. Ooh. Okay, so now the Triple Link Strike is more scary. It's, it's inching closer and closer to Ink Strike from Splatoon 1. Interesting. Because um, it does feel like you can escape the Ink Strike pretty easily. Um, I, I just escaped a few today. And that means that Ink Strike is de definitely, whenever you see, you're not like, mm, I'm kind of going to go through, maybe go to the other side, I'm going to do whatever I want. It's like, mm, maybe I shouldn't approach it at all. Because, like, I mean, 50% more damage, that's, like, that's a big buff. Like, being anywhere near it is going to instantly kill you. It's a pretty good, like, um, because, like, the Booyah Bomb is way bigger. And it's going to kill you in the same amount of time as the Triple Ink Strike currently does. But since it's bigger, like, it's it's harder to avoid. And you've got less options. But here the triple ink strike is basically gonna kill like fifty it's gonna do fifty percent more damage, which means that you're you're really not gonna want to stay in there. It's a smaller area, but it's a very deadly area. So you got more ways to maneuver around it, but you're gonna be forced to move faster. And you're you're really gonna have to pay attention basically. Oh crap tank. Shorten the duration of the crap tank when not using the special power-up gear ability from about 9 seconds to about 8 seconds. Okay. Increased the extension rate 
of the duration of the crab tank when using this special power up gear. Okay. As a result of these changes, the duration of the crab tank when maximizing use of the special power up gear remains the same as before. Okay. So one last second using the crab tank. I I like that. It's a pretty good pretty good first step. Maybe the last I don't know how people are gonna react to it and how it's gonna change. I hope it's gonna be enough. Nintendo knows probably knows what's good. So I'm trusting them. Uh points required for some weapons special have been changed. Weapon Splatter Shot Hero Shock Replica. Okay, so less points for let me let me actually check. It is the tripling strike. That's good. Less points. That's nice. 52 gal buff. Same thing. It's got the Booyah Bomb. That's it's interesting. Uh, 96 gal. Same thing. It's got the Ingvac. Okay. Another buff for the Splatter Shot Pro. It's the Booyah Bomb, I think. Wait, no. That's the other one. What is special of the Pro again? Uh, the base? The Vanilla Pro? It is... It is the Crap Tank. Okay, so more, more faster Crap Tanks. Um, which I guess is a good trade-off because it, it crap tank lasts less now, so you can get it more often. Uh, Splat Duelies gets crap tank also faster. Uh, Splatter Shot Nova, I skipped that one. It is the Killer Whale, okay, good. Gets a slight buff, uh, which is good for the Splatter Shot Nova, because less people are going to complain about it, maybe. Uh, custom, uh, plus like the pain buffs, that's good, that's good. Uh, custom Splatter Shot Jr., which gets... Oh, it, it gets a nerf. What is custom... Oh, Wave Breaker. Mm, okay. Okay, so less Wave Breakers then. That's interesting. I mean, yeah, 180 for a Wave Breaker, that's kind of low. Uh, Sloshing Machine. Oh, Sloshing Machine nerfs again. Less, less Booyah Bombs. Splatana Wiper. Um... It, it gets... Ooh, oh yeah, because they, they gave... Lots of a very massive painting buff to the Splatana Wiper, so they're like, mm, maybe now that it can fight very well with its like sword, maybe we're not gonna give it a hammer on top of that as often. The performance of some gear abilities have been changed. Ninja, oh, Ninja Squid nerf. Ink Splash will no longer be vis invisible for thirty to sixtieth of a second immediately after transforming into squid wait 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 okay this is an absolutely bangers change it means that you can't really like be invisible in the middle of a fight because if you start swimming because like usually the good thing about like ninja squid is that if someone gets into their ink while you're fighting them you can't really know in which direction they started swimming in like you can kind of see it depending on like which way their body is sta starting moving before they switch into ink form but it's, it kind of happens like too fast and then you can't you can't really keep track of where they're going or if they maybe like baited you and switched directions while they're in their ink but here like for half a second you can still see the intro and it's very it's very much going to be easier to follow and deal with so this is actually like very massive and nice uh let me let me take a look at the rest using the gear ability swim speed up at the same time will no longer result in one of these abilities being cancelled wait using the gear ability swim speed up at the same time will no longer result in one of these abilities being cancelled while using ninja squid swim speed will continue to be reduced by a fixed amount. Interesting. What? That uh, so maybe I I don't know what that means, but it means that it's gonna be maybe a nerf again. Uh, anyways, they are saying this update focuses on adjustments related to battles. A lot of adjustments to main weapons were made to lessen the. Im okay, hold on. Related. Yeah, adjustments related to battles. A lot of so that's basically their recap. They're saying, "Oh, we did this." They're they're communicating with the players what we did, what we did that, um, explaining. That's good. I like that part. A lot of the adjustments to main weapons were made to lessen the impact of on some of the weapons from Splatoon Two, where the increased performance of the gear ability was negated in Splatoon Three. 
What? What a maid? To main what? May where the in Splatoon where the increased performance of the gear ability was negated in Splatoon three. Okay. So I guess people were running some builds in Splatoon 2, and now that the the gear of those builds don't give as much, like, good buffs to your weapon, then they just buff the weapon now in Splatoon 3 to counteract this, I guess, I don't know. Uh, regarding changes to Ninja Squid, while mit mitigating the issues... The issue where player will lose sight of each other when shooting at each other from a relatively short distance. Yes, we're also intentionally maintaining the way to approach opponents with longer ranges. Okay, this is good. This is good. So yes, indeed, they're they're talking about like just losing sight of someone when you're like actively fighting with them, which is like weird. We reduce the amount needed to fill special ga gauges for some weapons within within that group strengthened some frequently used short range weapons to increase player options what we reduced the amount needed to fill special gauges for some weapons okay okay yeah yeah and then separate part of the sentence and within that group strengthen some frequently used short range weapon to increase player options okay I guess it makes sense. We increased the amount needed to fill special gauges on for some weapons and within that group curtailed somewhat the tactic of using sub weapons and special weapons to attack from a distance. Mm hmm. So the Booyah bombs and the Fizzy bombs and the other things that that people are going to spam because like, yeah, if you're, if you're playing machine, you're playing it because of, not necessarily just because of the main weapon. I mean, the w main weapon is very functional, right? And that's good. But you're not necessarily playing it because you love the mechanics of this machine. You're just playing it because it has great a great kit. And because it just works great, I guess. It does it deals damage. It's pretty nice. But you're not playing it because, oh, I love how the machine works. I figure. Oh. I mean, I definitely don't see anything too interesting about the weapon. Uh... Definitely not like, oh, look at the blob. It's so funky and weird. I, I like it. Like, oh, machine. I guess it deals damage and it has a kit. Um, but maybe I'm just dissing on a weapon for nothing. Maybe sometime I'll, I'll start to learn it and figure out some crazy strats. Um, we also made some adjustments to increase the manifestation of special weapons the manifestation what does that mean oh, oh 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 crap tank nerf um and other stuff the next update will focus on new features and support and weapon balance for the start of the new season in march mm -hmm. the update is planned for the end of the current season okay on new features new features mm. what kind of new features mm. Probably not the new Salmon Run modes. New features does like... Oh, <gasps> maybe. Maybe uh, Table Turf online. <laughs> that would be nice. That would be a new feature. Um, And then you got some bug fixes. Way too many. <gasps> um, uh, okay, okay. I saw an umbrella fix. So I'm, I'm still going to read them. I, I know there's probably a lot. Oh, yes, there's probably a lot. But <sighs> there are... Well, it's stopping there because that's version 2.0, but... Ooh. Play fixes to player controls. We got fixed an issue that allows players to climb through unclimbable walls when using squid surges and squid walls at the same time. What? Okay. Um, Fixed an issue where you're submerged in ink on a wall and move to any ground of a certain angle and continue to move while submerged your movement speed is reduced okay that's a bug i guess i mean it's a bug fix so yes obviously fix an issue where shots fired from a blah blah blur at that tower or other moving terrain features would hit 
hit and disappear rather than hit and rebound. Hmm, okay, that's cool. Fix that an issue where when a player is moving or jumping with an open umbrella, the area being protected from incoming shots is about 1 60th of a second behind where it appears to be. Uh, okay, interesting. So that's uh, just a delay fix, animation fixed up with the hitbox. Um, fix an issue where a player lands with an open umbrella. Fix an issue where when a player lands with an open umbrella, they are stunned and the umbrella seems to sink it into the ground. Okay. Fix an issue where the area being protected from inc incoming ink by an open umbrella is slightly to the left or right where it appears to be. Okay. Fix an issue where the animation of opening, opening, opening an umbrella to protect from attacks happens slower than the actual defensive be effect begins. So now the anim animation will be faster to match how it actually works. Fix an issue with the animation of closing an umbrella during the umbrella opening animation. Was not displaying smoothly. Okay. So animation fix. Mainly I think the animations were like kind of like janky and didn't actually reflect what was happening. Maybe that's a big part of the reason why people were complaining. I like the umbrella not working because it actually works, which is different from how it's showing up on your screen. Uh, fixed an issue where attacks to the rear of the craft tanks. Wait. Yeah, okay. Attacks to the back of the craft tank, uh, like Ink Storm, bounce off when the tank is in walking mode, even when directly striking the player. That's weird fix an issue where after having used the inkjet without once touching the an unintended location that's interesting that's like hmm probably happens whenever you like stack at um of ink save saver and then you respawn and you ink the ground just before and then you activate your special and then you land frick you i don't know wherever um okay fixed an issue where the wave breaker immediately their screens if the elevation of its placement is close to the y oh okay Fix an issue where if the wave breaker is placed at its waves do not display in within the area. Okay, so that's about an issue where if the wave breaker is placed at a specific spaces may or may not come within the area. Slight differences in position by the area of effect in the lower area. Okay, fix the slowdown of the roller in. Fix an issue when playing in haggle fish market that cause cause the score to not be in certain areas. Undertow spillway fix issues in all modes being able to submerge in ink in certain areas regardless they're inked or not mm -hmm. when playing rainmaker mode and museum dolphins in this discord to not change smoothly in certain areas okay fix okay uh spot zones on mahi mahi not other okay really care Oh, an issue when playing slot zone. Okay, fine water springs that cause the score to not change smoothly. Don't retreat to be displayed even if you weren't. Okay, so did you? Was weird for which? Um, changes to summer now. That's in. 
fixed an issue or if a community a certain time while well, the big one you will you would be able to get a corresponding badge ooh decoration but not the corresponding badge that's interesting if you were affected by this thing your badge after applying this update data and restarting the game that an issue that caused ammo stuck up Oof. Hold on. i'm sorry i'm getting tired an issue that caused ammo stocked up in the sniper to 5h depositing golden eggs or shooting them from a big so that's not intended fixed an issue to pr that I'm supposed to keep the charge that's that's cool that's interesting because i don't the hydra can do that or any any other so that's definitely a, an intentional thing that they're fix. Um, fix launched from by steelhead to disappear properly when the steelhead was defeated. So fixed an issue in Marooners Bay during low tide and over a flipper floppers area of attack. If it this okay. Bay that caused slowdown to occur players or some okay fix an issue where if you save weapons and played it again as a private job supplied instead okay mode what fix an issue where selecting switching from umbrella to another weapon the umbrella will be it may not launch it may or it may not protect from enemy attack other mode, other changes. Mode in recon where game controls do not work. Turf war and photo mode at the same time. People uh, fix an issue in recon where when and the player was plotted, the would remain as the player pose. As a player pose a specific form. I don't know what that means. Uh, when playing with a timer and the, the countdown number would not display. <laughs> Fix an issue where to save job history at the Grisco terminal, a list of completed display. Fixed an issue and buttons at the same time some control and so that that's it for we did it it's the full patch notes we, we got um yeah this is cool, cool. we are and the maintenance is nearly I think I'm gonna keep playing because I am tired. I mean, I was gonna say, oh, maybe I'm gonna play Salmon Run. To Salmon Run, but Salmon Run is still closed because I. Guess I don't know. I guess I don't know. Shops can do table turf. Go to the single player and get my stuff, my daily children. Oh well, all the quips are gone. Do my children, hello. Oops, wrong button. I can't really skip the text. Weird.
Wait, that's a spray. That's a heck of a load of spread. Wait, no, that's cause Wait, no, that's a heck of a lot. Oh, wait, hold on. The reticle isn't even like that far. Not that wait, okay, no, hold on. Actually, I think I understand. It's firing two times at a time. You've got a main shot in the center, and then you've got another one that just goes like on all sides. And sides better, but then your your main shot is still very accurate. That's extremely interesting. Interesting and weird and confusing. Interesting nonetheless. Uh, let me go back to uh, the squad below. Okay. I am back. What are the stage information is not available while you were offline? Well, that kind of sucks. Uh, let me check it on the app then. <laughs> me being tired. Error requesting the web service token. Ignore. Oh, come on. I just restart the app because that way. Oh no, it's because of server maintenance, right? Uh, that's probably why I can't check it. Well, whatever. Um, I'm too I'm too tired, so I will I will start heading to sleep. I will hit the hay. I will go to the beddings. I will sleep do the sleeping I will uh, go now and thank you for watching